Hey everybody, it's MMFQ Death, and we're back with another tutorial. So, you guys probably won't know this, except for at the end of the last tutorial, but I just made a Photoshop tutorial um, with Adobe Photoshop CS6, and I told you guys I was going to be making a Camtasia 8 record or er, well, recording, a Camtasia Studio 8, um, how to create, edit, and render a video. So, anyway, um, this thing right here, this beautiful little tiny bar thing, uh, is the Camtasia recorder. So, it obviously has a lot more options that I'm not going to really touch on. So, yeah, you guys can figure that out. It's honestly really simple. So, anyway, today's topic is how to edit a video. So, as you guys can see, I have these tiny little black borders here, and I don't want those. So stretching a video a tiny bit is not actually going to reduce its quality. So I'm going to stretch it to fit a 1280 by 720, even though I recorded it in slightly under 1920 by 1080p. Uh, the reason why is I cut out my start bar, so that wasn't in the video. Anyway, um, these tools right here, uh, you can zoom into the clip. And these tools right here, you can zoom out. Now, obviously, you can get... Uh, you can drag this to get a graphical representation um, of what's going on on screen. You can also go to zoom and pan and use this and a percentage, or you can just simply drag this thingy up and down. Uh, the reason why I am not going to actually be real-time editing this while recording it and show you guys how is because there's going to be a lot of editing involved and a lot of zooming and panning to show you guys the different things. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Uh, one thing you can do is you can actually save things to your library and Camtasia comes with a lot of things right away. Actually, the only things I have in here are my outro, my overlay music and my sound effects. So that's pretty much it actually in my tutorials at, or in Camtasia, um, which I do use Camtasia to uh, produce on my laptop. On my desktop, I have Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm telling you, if you guys are going to be serious about video editing, I would definitely advance getting it or advise getting it. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is really, really advanced though. So for basic video editing and gameplay, Camtasia is perfectly suited for you. Uh, it's really simple. In case your audio was to mess up, you can always go into the voice narration and hit start recording. You can also mute your speakers during the recording. And basically what that'll do is it will play the video in this little preview box here as you record. So it's really handy. Uh, you can also edit different visual properties like this. Cursor effects, if you recorded it with Camtasia, you can make your mouse cursor visible or not. So that's only if you recorded it with Camtasia. If not, then it's up to your video recording software. Um, these transitions, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know how to do in Camtasia is actually fade to black because it was impossible in older versions. Uh, in the newer version of Camtasia, Camtasia 8, they actually added the ability to add a... Um, uh, transition to the end of the timeline. So now you can do that. And we don't actually want that there. So control Alt Z. Um, oh, yeah. In Camtasia, it's actually different. It's just control Z. I don't know why. Anyway, in the audio panel, um, by selecting a clip, which actually we're going to right click here and separate video and audio. So uh, I actually prefer that my video would be on top. Can I unlink them? please. Okay. There we go. I always forget certain things about stupid things. Okay. And as you guys just saw to select multiple clips, you just kind of drag that like this. And you can select multiple things. Uh, let's get rid of this because we don't need it. So remove track. And to add a track, you can obviously just hit this little plus button here. And it'll insert a new track right above it, which again, we don't need, so remove. Um, now, basically what this is, is separating it allows you to edit the audio and video independently, which isn't a big deal. Most of the time you won't need to do it, but in certain cases, uh, I would advise it. So, also, callouts. This is another big thing that Camtasia does very well, is it adds a bunch of different callouts, which you guys will be seeing in this video, actually, uh, to your disposal. So things like these, you can actually real-time move around on screen and such like that. Another thing is it has these buttons here that you can click on, which are really handy. 
Uh, it also has a blur callout, a spotlight callout, and a pixelate callout, as well as just plain text and a highlighter and a transparent hotspot. So pretty cool. All in all, awesome. Um, and then your clip bin is obviously where your different media goes. So for instance, if I wanted to import a video, uh, these are all of my videos. It's just where I save them after I render them. So we're going to click right here on, you know what, actually raging at parkour with the RPM crew. And if you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely go and check it out. It's on my channel and you'll probably see it in the related videos. So I would recommend going and checking out this video. It's awesome. You just, like you saw, hit import media, click on something and hit open. And that puts it in here to drag it into the timeline. You can just drag it to an open space or to an existing track and it will place it. Now, anything on the timeline uh, will not be visible in the preview unless this is over top of it. So as you can see right here, this video is also in 1280 by 720. So you can't see this other video behind it. But what if we were to want to make two videos into one thing? You can just select this video and you can actually resize it. So if for whatever reason, I wanted my RPM Rage video to appear up in the top right corner as if it was a face cam during the tutorial, um, I could do that. And actually, let's, uh, uh, I'll just turn this part of the audio down in three, two, one. And you can hear how they overlapped and it sounds pretty well. Well, pretty well. It sounds pretty awful is what I meant. Anyway, uh, to get rid of this track, you just right click and hit delete or while it's selected, you would just tap the delete key on your keyboard. Anyway, uh, time to move on to the next series of steps. So say you wanted to, uh, you were done editing your video and you wanted to upload it to YouTube. So now there are two ways to do this in Camtasia. Uh, saving project and save project do not render a video. To render it and publish it, you actually have to hit produce and produce and share or produce is special. Um, and if you want to edit it and render it, you actually need to produce and share. So click that or hit control P on your keyboard. Now Camtasia Studio 8 comes with a lot of built in stuff like share to screencast or share directly to YouTube. So that's actually really handy. Um, it goes by your editing dimension. So if it's a 1920 by 1080p uh, video, you can actually do that. Um, let's just click here. And there's also the custom production settings, which is what I always use. I just find it a little bit nicer and then I can have videos on back order. Um, I would always select MP4 slash flash, just the best way to do it. All of these other ones you can definitely do, but I wouldn't recommend them for YouTube. Uh, then you just hit next. You can set an HTML5 player in case you just drop it in with HTML um, into like a website or something of the sort. So it'll come with its own player and it is completely customizable. You can do the embed size, the video size, the video settings, the audio settings, and the options. Really cool. Um, then we're going to hit next. This is for in case you made a really original video and if people ripped it and tried to put it in iTunes or something of the sort, uh, you could always edit the stuff in here and it will put keywords, a description, uh, relation, coverage, all that kind of stuff, as well as a title, subject, and all that stuff. So um, then you can also include a watermark. Um, in case you want one, I don't actually think that it's a good idea, but you could. <laughs> YouTube actually kind of lets you do it now, so you don't really need to. Um, then you just hit next and rename and hit finish, and it will start to render it. It will always put it in the Camtasia Studio folder in your documents, and that's pretty much it. It will just start rendering from there, and then you guys can go ahead and upload your videos to YouTube. So this has been MMFQ Death, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped you out in some way, shape, or form. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like down below and comment with any questions. I love hearing feedback and anything of the sort. So anyways, you guys, it's been MMFQ Death, and thank you all for watching. Peace.